Hey everybody, one of the Warhammer Quest Battle Reports. I am back with Chris, and we're gonna be throwing down our adventuring party once more into the depths. Uh, not quite half of us are battle level two yet, so we're still gonna be using the battle level one monsters. Uh, painting up some new monsters probably for our next adventure after that, maybe a little chaos adventure. We'll see, make a theme deck. Um, but it's gonna be Bori Goldfist, the troll slayer who's dishonored Skeggy and his family. Uh, the young Prince Loran, the elf ranger. The thin duke, the uh, thin white duke, the new, the, the new David Bowie reference um, war dancer and of course Esteban Galante, my Imperial Noble, going on yet another adventure. So we'll get the deck ready, uh, we'll get the adventure underway, and uh, show you the current state of our adventures. So here are our plucky adventurers, the Thin White Duke, uh, level zero or one um, uh, word answer. So Chris, roll me a d6 real fast, and see how many wounds you get. d6 plus five? So that puts you at your plus six base, or plus five? I think you're at ten. Twelve. Twelve. Sweet. Uh, and he's just starting off. So now, if you didn't see the last game, he's got a belt that on a one does nothing, on a two to three gives him plus one toughness, on a four to five gives him plus two toughness, and on a six allows him to completely ignore a hit during the turn. Um, he also can basically bank his movement for death blow. So if he gets a death blow off and there's no one adjacent, he can move with a three plus ignore pinning or a three plus pinning check to get to somebody else to make the death blow attack. He just dances around the room. It's pretty cool. I don't wear his armor though, and generally speaking, his big job is to clear rooms of little dudes. And we have the Iron Prince Lorand. He is a um, elf ranger mage, and he knows three spells. A healing spell, a sort of Orion spell that does d6 wounds, um, and a like earthquake spell, basically it hits a line of guys um, adjacent and does d6 wounds, uh, d6 plus one wounds minus their, their toughness value. So a bit of room cleaner. Uh, last game he was our leader, but we're gonna just pull a pog to see who the leader is this turn. And then, uh, we've got Esteban Galante, my Imperial Noble. He's doing pretty great. He banked some experience some gold last game. Still level one, 12 wounds. Uh, he bought a bandage, uh, and he also made a cool investment. So you can go to the merchant house now and see if his uh, <laughs> investment's going well. He is, however, suffering from the plague. So he's only toughness to this game. Um, his ancient heirloom makes goblins and uh, bats minus one to hit him. He's got his rapier that can keep attacking basically, but doesn't get death blow, so he can just oh, keep attacking. Prince Lorand also has the plague, but he's minus one strength. That's right, he's only strength two this game, which is a good thing he's a mage. Uh, dueling pistol, and that's really it. Uh, and his rapier, which only he can use. And then the legendary Bory Goldfist. He had such a good first game. He's battle level two now. His rune axe got in inscribed with a plus one strength rune forever, uh, and he's also plus one to his toughness for just this game with a fading rune. Um, he's got two attacks next, he's battle level two, uh, and his uh, big thing is he's got four pieces of stone bread that he can eat on the move, which other dwarves can't do. Um, and his, uh, his troll slayer skill is if he rolls a six to hit, he's strength seven. So he'd be strength seven goes to eight for his axe, plus one damage because of the base rune axe. So strength nine when he rolls a six, which is bananas. We got our deck ready, so what's our objective room gonna be? Flip it. It's the fire chasm. Oh no! E6 for the fire chasm. Fuck. To return the dragon's eye. I didn't take it. Centuries ago, the great dwarf hold of Karazak Asgal fell to the rampaging our cords. In the last days of the, before the city fell, the dwarf smiths and their forge masters of the realm gathered together under the lord's directions. Their aim was to bind a dragon to the city to smite down its foes, and thus they built a great statue in a cavern far underground to act as a magical focus. The dwarves put a great deal of their power into their labors, and the majority of it went into the two great gems that serve as its eyes. A great dispute raged for years to decide who owned them, as two rival dwarf lords each claimed to be the rightful owner. The grudge went back and forth for many years, and so did the gems. They were wrested from one clan to the other. Placing him in the position of honor in the statue was seen as a way of settling the dispute forever. It was not to be, however, as one of the embittered dwarves crept into the chamber and stole one of the dragon's eyes. Shortly after, Kurak Asgel fell to the orcs, and the unbound dragon arrived. Dwarves made good their escape, leaving the once glorious city in the dark, brooding presence of the great beast and the orc intruders. The dragon has since been slain by a great dwarf hero, but the city itself has never been cleared of the orcs and goblins and now rule its gloomy caverns. The dwarves blame this misfortune on the theft of the gem, and the legend tells that Karak Asgil is cursed unless it's replaced. Now the gem has been found, and the guardian self-appointed ruler in exile of the city has given the, dwar uh, the warriors permission to try and return the stone, as long as they agree to give him half whatever treasure they find in the way. We must carry the gem, so the troll is going to have to carry this and put it back into the dragon's eye socket. To put it back, he has to stand in a square adjacent to its head. If he's killed, they fail by default. So we have to keep the troll slayer alive. When the warriors enter the fire chasm, roll in the objective room monster table to determine wh what's in the room. These monsters must be killed before the gem can be placed back in its uh, dragon's eye socket. If the gem is successfully replaced, the trapdoor opens in the plinth, and the statue sits upon the inside uh, the dragon's horde. Three d six times one hundred gold for each warrior, but half is given up as agreed. Fire chasm is bad. The rope bridge across is the only way to cross it. 
And it, it takes the equivalent of two squares of movement. For each warrior that attempts to cross, roll a d6 on the following table. The warrior slips on a 1 to 2, roll d6 on the hazard table, and a 3 plus, they're okay. So when you cross it, you have to have two squares of movement, and it's a 3 plus to get across. On a 1 or 2, though, you gotta roll on the table. On a 1, you're dead. On a 2 to 3, you take d6 wounds with no deduction for toughness or armor as you dangle over the lava. Uh, on a 4, you slip and lose a piece of equipment randomly or treasure. And then 5 6, the warrior grips on the bridge as it starts to swing violently. Uh, and then you go back to a random side, one to three, four, four to six near. Monsters don't care because they do it all the time. All right, so shuffle me six cards and we'll make the bottom half of the deck and then uh, six more and we'll make the top half. All right, the dungeon has been created, Chris. So what is our entryway? It is a passageway. Makes sense. The first one like that because it saves space for us to move around in and we get to deploy how we want. Now we have to determine who the leader is first. All right. So we'll shuffle it up. My elf just can't be a pig and just declare Not it. Not every time. Him. And it's... Oh. The dwarf makes sense. Makes He's sense. leading the way. Super sweet because it means he gets to pass the initiative along too. So we'll place him there, uh, and then you might as well put number six uh, yeah. and the two fives in the rear. Mr. Ranger power phase for Here the first turn of the game as we enter the dungeon. Welcome to the to one fire chasm four. four. So four power, and what I guess I'm going first. Nothing happens. Uh, you can roll to see what your belt does. Not not super relevant. It's sleep belt. Sleep plus one toughness. Uh, and everyone else just stands around. So what's our exploration going to be? Flip us a dungeon tile. T oh no! So we have to go two different directions right from the beginning. Uh, that's a deal from the bottom. So you got to deal from the bottom on both sides. The dungeons, it, it's interesting because it either completely solves all of our problems and cuts the dungeon time in half, or totally scuppers us as we have to do the entire deck all of a sudden. Um, and so now it's time to move, starting with the leader. So let's go Dwarf. He's going to go one... Uh, two, three, four. And we'll just end right there. Uh, then it's Mr. War Dancer. Let's commit. I mean, you can't go across corners, right? Not only if they're blocked. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Uh, then it's, doesn't yep. really matter. One, but... <laughs> two, three, four. Sweet. And I'll go one, two, three, and just stand there. Operation! What do we find? Another corner. I'd roll for power. No, we didn't get ambushed. We're fine. Uh, and now we roll for power again. We're fine. Slayer time. Let's go one, two, three, four. We're not quite adjacent. We're answer at six. Uh, you can go first because you get out of my way. And I'll go one, two, three, four and stand next to you. Okay, it's the next turn because there's no monsters. No ambush, but lots of power. So the leader's going to go first. Let's go stand in the corner. Uh, and then I'll just, yep, yeah, we'll go stand one, two, three and stand behind. Our phase again. Let's not get ambushed. Here it comes. Nope. nope. Sweet. Three. Uh, so let's do our exploration. Sorry, we do our exploration first, actually, the dungeon room. And what room is it? It's a monster it's lair. Uh -oh. It's a monster lair. What is in? Something's locked down here. Monster lair. And we made our power roll, so we didn't get ambushed at least. So. Uh, I guess the leader's gonna go first. Let's, uh, let's just get in the room, and I'll stand next to the door if I can, because we can cross the room right away. And that way, if we manage to clear the room, then everybody shows up. All right, well, the war dance will go with you. Sweet. He's starting to, he's the thin white duke. He, he knows what time it is. Uh, unlike my elf, who likes the corners. Okay, we're going to go one, two, three, four, and stand over here. And not split the party, although we've just split our healer off, which is probably the worst idea. Let's see what we found. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. Let's see what we find. Uh, vent phase, monsters. Yes. Oh, 2d6 Skaven. Uh, always. <laughs> oh, 11 Skaven. Is there enough room? Well, uh, rat men. Who doesn't, who gets two instead of one, or instead of three? Two instead of three is going to go to, pick one. The word answer. So the word answer only gets two. Everybody else gets three facing them. Okay, anyway. Well, all right. So uh, it's going to be, it's going to be lots of people fighting. So Troll Slayer, does he have initiative on this? Or? Uh, well, no, we go to the end of the round. We need to make a new power roll. Oh, right. They, they don't attack this round and we're not exploring. Here it comes. Six. Two. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, Troll Slayer goes first though. Uh, and he's going to death blow and hopefully kill a bunch of Skaven. Two attacks. He'll attack this one so that hopefully he can go across because people's in the way. So threes. Hits twice, uh, and then he's strength uh, eight on this one, strength nine on this one, kills it. Uh, death blow on the next one on a three, hits. Uh, plus five is gonna be 10. So that kills that one too, and his death blow ends because he's got no one else adjacent. And that's the word answer, he has four movement. Where'd yeah. little, where'd that little die go? So I'm going to start with. Attacking him, and then you can move him. your death blow, yep. So on a three. Ah, 
Oh, and this is uh oh. Then what do you do? What are you doing? And then you you it's can go first up. if you want with your elf or not. It's up to you. Uh, you know what? I will, and I will. If you can kill this one, I'll get unpinned, and that okay. way I can I can move the dwarf. Well, I'm gonna tr I'm gonna start with uh, I'm gonna cast shockwave. Sure. Yeah, yeah, you can kill one. Uh, I, have to do it. I need a five to do it. So Kay. let's see. Can I shockwave? Oh, Got I can do shockwave. So D6 plus one minus three. Oh, I can start on him. Yeah, but it's a line, isn't it? No, no, no. It's anywhere on the board. But you have to do it behind the next one, don't you? Anybody in the same board section? Cool. But I can only do this once per monster, so. Okay, so anyone you want. So, so him, we'll three start plus. With him, because uh, that'll unpin you. Nope. Nope. And that's it. <laughs> and that's it. And then you can attack him, I guess. Yeah, I guess I'll, I guess I'll try and stick him. On a three. Stick him. Hits. Uh, D6 plus two. Uh, yep. Because <laughs> you're strength two right now. Two! Not the, three! Right then, it's Esteban's turn. Um, he's going to start his rapier attacks here on a three. He misses. Okay then, so we've killed so the two... Scared, we've killed two that are attacking the the Troll Slayer. Uh, sorry, one attacking the Troll Slayer. So this, we'll do the Troll Slayer first. So it's going to yep. step in. First one attacks me on a four plus. Misses. The second one attacks me on a four plus. Misses. There's one to attack the war dancer right now. Plus. Did you roll for his belt? Oh, his belt is plus, plus one, one toughness. Plus one toughness. So it hits him, hits and him. d6 plus three, I'll roll it. It's going to be eight, minus four is four. And there's three to attack uh, Esteban, but two only two are able to do so, because actually this guy could go. He could go one, two. Actually, he'd get pinned that way. So we'll do these ones that are in base contact first. So two attacks against Esteban on fours. One hit, and that's d6 plus three. Uh, he's toughness two, oh, so no. eight six damage. Half health almost immediately and goes down to six. The other one tries to get adjacent and then gets pinned next to the ranger. Because he'll go one, two, and then attack the ranger. Mm -hmm. Four plus does he hit? Nope. And then there's one more that can attack the ranger. The other ones mm -hmm. can't move over there. And he misses. And that's it. Our phase next turn. Not a one, not a one, not a one. Sweet. Oh, oh, oh. Big power no now I'm gonna smoke some 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 dudes. Some scavens. All right. Well, it starts with the troll slayer, but unfortunately, he the yeah. best he can do right now is kill one guy. Yeah. What does he escape really do. from? Oh, no. It's a six plus for me to move. Oh. I mean, I can try. We'll try and move. Do I escape from well, on six? Well, wait. Can you defer not going first? No. You gotta go in order. Okay. So um, say you let the war dancer go. I first. Can, we can choose when we're tied, but the leader goes first. So he's just gonna hit that one guy. Two attacks. He hits him. D6 plus a bunch. Uh, D6 was four, five. That's six. That still kills him. Because he, he's plus one strength right now and plus one damage from his rune axe. And oh, that's right. a four plus two is six. Oh Hello. So, over to you. All right. Uh, so, the word answer. Uh, I think I'm going to try to escape from pinning. Well, if you just stab and then you can move away afterwards, right? Oh, right. That's true. I can kill do that guy. too. So, what is your belt? Right, do? So, so, let's. Uh, belt. My belt is plus, plus two. two toughness. Nice. All right. Here he goes. Stab that fool! Hits. Uh, it's a uh, five. Five. So no damage, and that's it. Well, sorry, five is two damage. It doesn't kill him. He's got one left. One left. Plus no dance. So over to your ranger. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, he is going to cast. Everybody mm. can use some health right now. Everybody? I mean, yeah, I guess everybody can use some. I health. would just save it until the end of the turn in case we die, and then on two plus we can come back. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Because <laughs> that's. The Thin White Duke died last time. So I'm gonna try and uh, stab well, that guy. I got two guys attacking me. So if you, well, if you go to this one, you could death blow. Yeah, I'll right? do him and I'll yeah. see if I can death blow across. Cool. So. Threes, hits, and then D6 plus two, eight kills him. Next one, death blow. Threes, hits, D6 plus two, seven kills him. Good job. Uh, Plague's not keeping you down, so then it's over to my noble. He'll start stabbing this one on a three. Uh, D6 plus one, six kills him. Uh, next one, because uh, he gets to keep stabbing. We'll stab this one actually. Three, hits him. D6 plus one, kills him. And then next stab, he doesn't do death blow, hits. D6 plus one, uh, six is gonna kill him. Just kills all three. A lot of damage, but he sure does stab a whole bunch until he misses. Um, and then it's over to the Skaven. So you've got two that are targeting him and one that's targeting the Troll Slayer. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and hit the Troll Slayer on a four. Hits. No! D6 plus three, seven minus five is two. So he's down to 15 left. One tapping the stab, yep. Uh, so four plus, this is on the ranger, hits. Plus three, four, so Nothing. one damage. Nope, no, toughness four. That's right, toughness four because of your helm or whatever. Yeah, scale armor. Scale armor. The other one, hits. Uh, it's a five, so one damage. All right, All right. Uh, power phase for the next turn, unless you want to use your, use your healing. Yeah, you know what, we'll do the healing. So on yeah. a two plus, everyone's going to get a wound back. They do? Yep. 
And you healed hits. four or three guys. I go to 16. And then I go to seven. So I get 20 gold for that. At 20 gold, because everybody got one, yep. yep. Raise. Here it comes. No big one. Mo big money. You're good. Boom. Uh, Troll Slayer. Yeah, okay, really killed that one guy. No, nope, he's gonna miss him completely. All right, uh, word answer is gonna go like this. Bloop. And hit, well, it doesn't matter, I can death blow across, right? Yep. Oh, it doesn't matter. So threes? Yep. What if I go one? No. Yeah. It doesn't really matter, yeah. Threes. Hits. And, oh. Five, doesn't really kill him. Five. Uh, you want to do your if you want to do your mage first again because that guy's down to one wound. Yeah, so, I'll do so the you mage. could just kill me in your strength too. So the mage will go into that guy. Threes. No. Okay. Uh, and it's the noble. The noble's gonna take a shot into that guy with the pistol and not move. So four plus this pistol. Hits. Ding. Decent plus three. Four doesn't do any, all but one damage. So he's got two left. Plus. Not if, yeah, I need a five to cast. Oh. I was. Everybody gets a wound back. Everybody gets a wound back. Go to eight. Or go to four on the on Bori. Go to eight on. So that's fifteen. Esteban. Hey, oh sorry, no, they attack us now. They attack. Yep. So the so one on my troll center on a four hits. hits. Plus three, nothing. Top is five. Oof. Uh, the one on your first one, the wounded one, hits. Uh, does Oof. eight minus four is four damage. Oof. The one on your ranger misses. Power phase. Oh, big there numbers. Big numbers. All right. Well, nice. uh, does the Slayer kill that guy? And I can't not kill him. Plus five. Seven, seven minus three is four damage. Did you do something? Three. What does do first? Plus one toughness? Yep. Uh, Three's to hit. This is. Uh, and then your mage? You're my mage. Um, good shockwave. You can do it after. You can do it after you attack. It doesn't have to be before. That's true. Same so I'll try and hit the dude. True. Hit the Phoebe. Hits. Hits. Only plus Kills two. Him. Five. Kills him. Only got one wound yep. left. And then the other guy, Defo. Threes misses. Missing. Oh, you're gonna shockwave. Uh, you heal on two plus. How wounded are you guys? I've yeah. lost four oh, wounds both. on. Okay, Esteban. two plus. Everyone gets a wound back. Boom. Okay, sweet. And I get another twenty gold. Uh, no, well the uh, Bori's fully healed. to get fifteen. Okay. Esteban's gonna go. He's gonna go one, two. And he's gonna attack the jaguar shark on a three, uh, and then that's no damage. But he attacks again on a three, plus one kills him. Splooch. And who got this guy? You got both. Uh, the, no, troll, the troll got that. Your, your elf ranger got that. All oh, right. So uh, I'm gonna get 80 on each of these fellas, and you're gonna get 40. 11. So you get it's, uh, it's 40 each. So, sorry, I'm gonna get 160 on each of these guys, yeah, and you're gonna get 120. Token to the leader. I got some gold. Get d6 times 100 gold. Sweet. 400 gold. Dang. The room. So it's time to explore. <laughs> power. You know, explore and then power. Explore and then power phase. Yeah. We find another <laughs> T-junction. Oh my god, so the remaining deck gets dealt down. This is getting crazy. All right, what's Power Face say? Power Face says three. Uh, so we don't get no expected Anyone events. Need to, uh, I need to heal. Yeah, you might as well. So well four plus. My leader goes first. Yeah. You can do it now if you want. It doesn't matter when you do it. Nope. nope. So nobody heals. Uh, the Slayer's going to go. He's going to go, oh jeez. One, two, three, four. And we'll just see if this is it. And that's you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and four. Mm -hmm. Explore! There's no events in this. Here we go. Is it the room? No, nope. it's just a corridor. It's a corridor, so that gets put down, and then we ignore it basically and start going the other way. Yeah, it's just an empty room basically. We see it that end. Yep. Power phase. Did we get ambushed in this T junction? No. Oh! Uh, but we don't make it in one turn. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and stand here, and everybody just mill behind me. Yeah, there's no behind me. Yep. No, you, okay, yeah, that's fine. Either way, uh, I'll go it. here. I guess. <laughs> and then uh, power phase I again. Heal. Oh, sure. Yeah, two plus. Everybody heals. Two plus. We got it. Eight on Esteban. More gold for you. And then roll the power phase again. Let's here see if we, we can go. find this objective. If we can find the fire chasm. Oh, all right. Five. I stand here. Two mm -hmm. plus. We all heal again. Everybody just goes in behind. Yep. Your two plus. Everyone gets a wound back again. Yep. That's sweet. So, Nine. You have, so that's ten that I get then. Yep. I'm actually gonna use my bandage because I only have one, and I'm gonna gain back three. Will heal me. I'll go to twelve. That's it. Whoa, no, it's, it's a, a guard, guard room. room. That kind of makes sense though. Is six. Six. All right, it's a big turn. Uh, this is gonna be full minotaurs or something. So <laughs> I'm gonna move first. Go one, two, three. 
I want to stand where people can surround me. Okay. So I get death blow everywhere. Four, but but also where I can explore the room. I go one, two, three, four. Sweet. And one, two, three, four, because he likes corners. Yep. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and seven. Event. Let's see what it is. No event. Oh, right, event. See what see what ambushes us. Could be nothing. Could be a boat. Two d six snotlings. No, <laughs> not snotlings. All right, two d six. See what happens. Big money saws! Eleven, 11 snotlings. snotlings. Didn't get four snotlings. These are. This is the guards. This is These the guards. Are the guard. These They're are in charge. They put in the charge. The Orcs left it behind. Let's see what it is. The yeah, noble. noble. This one's gonna be on the elf. So he's gonna get one, two, three, four, and then nobody can go on the ranger. And the last one's gonna go on the uh, troll slayer. <laughs> And then the other two are just filling those. These spots. guys just fill these last two spots, and we'll attack somebody else later. Mm -hmm. So heading on two to strength five, and there's five of them. So go for it, immediate attack. <laughs> so we roll five dice here. Uh, go for it, yep. Yeah. All ones, no. And then the strength five. So roll them all again. Oh, I'm probably just dead. <laughs> Luckily, you got a two plus heal to bring me back. Uh, so that's six, which is three damage, three damage. Uh, five damage, so I'm at eleven damage, so I'm I'm down. I'm at zero. Oh, she should do them one at a time I though, because the belt. remaining one might have to go and do stuff, right? And your belt actually is still in effect from last turn until your activation, because this is happening in the monster phase that they get placed. So now you take four attacks, and well, I'll take one in the troll slayer. So might as well just do that, finish it off. Uh, hits and it's strength five, so straight dice roll because it minus five, four There's damage. Strength, oh, he is strength five because yeah. the other one's strength. He's toughest five oh. right now. They've got one, two, three, four attacking the the elf now, but they're only at plus three because there's only mm -hmm. that many there. So they'll be hitting on threes. So the first one hits uh, d6 plus four, uh, minus four, so five damage. The second one hits, sorry, yeah, hits and does eight, so four more damage, so nine damage. The third one hits. Uh, and does six, so that's three damage, so you're at 12 damage. Oh, yeah. And the last I'm one dead. misses. I'm down. Okay, well then now you two plus heal us all. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the one, baby. Do it. We're good, all right, so everybody gets a health back and we're at one health for Esteban and one health for um, this. Uh, the Slayer. Well, this is the objective room. <laughs> all right, uh, power phase. Yeah, oh, come on, man. Two. Sweet. Actually, sorry, Snotlings make an immediate attack as soon as they're placed on the board, and, and they attack they're as normal with the monster phase. They actually attack again. So, so we're dead. We're hold done. off our healing. No, no, we just hold off our healing, and as long as he doesn't die, you're fine. Because only one, only, these guys just mill about. You're going to get two attacks on the Elf Ranger, and then it's going to be three attacks on the Troll Slayer. <laughs> and the rest of them are just going to mill about. All right. Troll Slayer. First one. Misses, because you're only at plus two, two right now, yep. so you're on and then fives. Second one on the troll fours, slayer. Misses. Oh. And then two on him on four. We need to get lucky that way. On fives. So the first one hits, oh, plus nothing, doesn't do any damage. And the second one hits, uh, plus two, four, doesn't do any damage. He stands up. Because nobody I else can push forward. Yeah, because the squares oh. are blocked. Because you get your spell off. Oh. And you should you should gain three. Yeah. Or like 15 experience. 15 experience. Yeah. yeah. Phase. Whoa. Let's see what's going on. I rolled a, a two. Yeah, I already rolled a two. All right, sweet. Um, so the leader goes first, and let's see if we can just kill all these snarlings in one go. So into the first snarling, hits twice. He just dies. Pulverized. The next one dies. The next one dies. The next one dies. Oh. The last one dies. I killed five snarlings. I can't do enough damage I'm... not to kill them. Four. Yep. So I hit on twos. Uh, yeah. Yeah, throw up, let's go one. Uh, okay. Two plus. So two. Oh, cool. Okay, ah. your, your mage? All right, so on a five, oh no, I'm gonna heal again. On a five, I'll, well, lay will Just wait until the end in case we yeah. all die. Um, so I would just move it, oh, so actually let me go first, because okay, if I can go, kill these it, three, yeah. then you could go somewhere else. Because yep. I almost just auto kill them, because they have one, actually I do auto kill them, I hit them, they have one wound and one yeah. health, right? So uh, two plus, kills them. Second one, two plus. Uh, I'm pretty sure it kills him. Third one also dies. And it's D6 plus one. I can't help but kill them because I always do one damage. So I kill these three. Brutal. And then the you can go with your mage. I will go here. Stand there and just try and kill them yep. both. So one. Plus. No. No. Okay. How is there? I'm not uh, doing it today. Um, so you've got four that were supposed to be fighting the war dancer. 
So this one's gonna go one and then attack him. Yep. Because he can't attack anybody else. And he's plus two. And he's plus two. Uh, so he's gonna hit on six goes to five goes to four. Mm -hmm. This is. Nope. Um, and then this one's gonna go take a step, not be able to get there. Take a step, not be able to get there and attack him. Mm -hmm. And miss. And then these two on the word answer. So the first one. Did you roll for your belt already? Ignore. ignore a hit. Oh, so does, does he hit? He does. You ignore it. The second one. He misses. Phase. Big numbers. No whammy. Uh, did I not have him cast yet, though, in the last phase? Sure. So five up. Heal. Five up. Nope. nope. Two. Same thing. Oh, no. Um, if I move, we don't get the dungeon. We have to spend a whole other turn doing this, but I also might just... I'm a troll slayer. I cannot do this. I'm going to get a step. Yep. And then two attacks. The first snarling dies. The second one does not die. Is there? Uh, yep. All right. So don't don't fail me now. Oh, two. I hit him. Yeah. Hit on twos. Okay. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with these ones. <laughs> do, your, do, do your guys and see if we can kill yeah. those two. Two plus. You hit. Hits. Kills him. Kills him. You auto kill if you hit Yeah. Them. Two plus. Hit. Ah. Oh, it doesn't so hit. I killed one snarling. Okay, uh, and then that guy, two bluffs, hits him, he dies. And Sweet. I can't move. I tried to escape pinning into the thing. I did. I can actually step into here then. And then I'll hit the next one. And he dies too. Oops. So I'm going to get 60 on the Troll Slayer, 50 on the Esteban. You get 10 on your Yeah, elf. man, I killed one Snotling. Sweet. Can I heal everyone again? Sweet. No. Okay. And I right. get a treasure card. Yeah. Starting steel daggers. Did you even shuffle this? I just sold these. I, I did shuffle. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Right back on the top. Sweet. They auto hit. Then uh, the songs are dead, and yeah. it's new turn. Power phase. Not a one. Four. Sweet. There it's we a go. Three, a three plus heal for everybody. Yep. So I'll take a step. I'm gonna eat a stone bread and get all my health back. Where else is gonna move? And then I'm gonna just the elf's just gonna mill, and he's just gonna heal. Three plus. Everybody gets a wound back. Oh my god, all right. Uh, no, no, no. I'll stand here and Changing. not have any bandages. Didn't you buy provisions or something? Is a bandage on him? Yeah, what does bandages heal? Just three. It's just Flat three? Flat three, yeah, it's gone. Four plus the word easy. answer, yeah. three wounds. No. <laughs> my new dice are even worse. I'll try again? Yeah, I'll try again. Second bandage. There we go. We get three wounds back. One bandage left. All right, so exploration. That's it. Yes! Spark chasm! Roll to see what the bad guys are once we go inside. Yes. Uh, give me a power roll. Thank god it was the chasm. Oh, three. three. So four plus heal this turn. Mm -hmm. um, and let's. We gotta kill everything inside, and the dwarf has to live to get across. So the dwarf could get across by. Sp he has to start here and spend two to get to there. And then roll a three plus. Do we're we, gonna do, do it. Do we roll on the table before we enter, or as. No, we roll, we roll when we, once we're inside as normal to okay. place the monster. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go. One, two, and then spend two to get across. And then you gotta now you gotta roll on. I gotta roll three plus to make it. Three plus. We're good. Two. Uh, and then it's over your word answer. Okay. Remember you can't end on this thing, so I'm currently blocking it. Yeah, so I'm just gonna I'm actually not even gonna move. I'm gonna move here. Get in the corner. Corner Sweet. it. He's gonna go one, two. He's gonna corner it as well. Although that's technically a square, right? No, it's not. No. Okay, so he'll go there as well. Okay, uh, we're gonna go one, two. And just stand there because we got one health left. We don't want to die. This guy's got a bandage left in case we die and or a spell. He's off to his doom. All right, so D6 it. Let's see what we got. Roll high. Three. Three. A minotaur, D6 plus two skaven, and two D6 giant rats. Oh. So who's fighting the minotaur? The mighty minotaur. I'll close my eyes. Do it. Just... Give me one. All right, so it's the noble. <laughs> the poor that one couldn't noble. possibly go wrong. So he'll be there. Uh, then it's D6 plus 2 Skaven. Eight Nine Skaven. Sca plus, yeah, 8 Skaven. Yeah, yeah, so everybody gets 2. Then it's D6, 2D6 Giant Rats. Roll me some Giant Rats. How many have you got? 2D6 Giant Rats? Oh. Okay. 5. Five. Bonus Rat. Bonus Rat goes to... Oh, shit. This guy. The Noble. Forgot that uh, you've got a, um, whatchamacallit, a... Uh, uh, an elf cloak. It we'll roll to see if it expires. We'll just roll to see if it expires. But when it's gone, that's no, fine. But it would have been minus one damage. Okay then. Uh, you might as well try and heal on a four plus. Yeah, let's do this. Everyone, get a wound back, please. No. Nope, no dice. Face for the next turn. Here come the baddies. We got to kill everybody to put the thing in. Power four. Troll says where he wants to be. Yep. Um, and let's see who we kill. Rat on a three. It's only weapon skill two. So on a three plus. We hit it, we're strength of 1,000, so it just dies. Uh, death blow into that one. 
I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use my luck. I hit, and then I'm strength five. Uh, seven, it dies. Death blow again. I hit, strength five. Six, that still kills it. We all done with my death blow, because I'm not chasing anybody all else. Alright, ward answer. Uh, he is going to hit that one Skaven. Alright, save that heal from we're all knocked down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he hits. hits. He kills it. Kills, and I'm going to dance in there and hit the Minotaur. Sweet. Uh, I'd hit the next Skaven. How? how? Oh, then you that, can, oh, there, then you can death blow and go again, so right? Dance into there, so I'm down to three. Yep, three plus. Move, three plus on the Skaven. Hits. hits. Kills it. And now you get another death blow if you want, and you can also three plus move to there and keep killing Skaven if you want. Uh, sure. You know what? I'll escape pinning. So on a three plus, yep. Yeah. So I was trying to escape pinning. No. So you just stay so there. Back there, and I'll just and I guess I just death blow into we him instead. Yep. All right, here it comes. Ooh. Hits on a four, like three actually. Uh, eight minus four is four damage. Eleven wounds left. Oh, I'm gonna smoke him. We'll first, try and get out of the way. Um, I might want, try and yeah, because well, I'm saving the heal. Yeah, I might try. Like I could infinitely kill the Minotaur right now if I just keep hitting him. But I need, a, I need a four to hit him. I'm gonna try and kill these Skaven first. Okay. Uh, so the first one on a three hits. Uh, three doesn't do any damage. Second one hits. Uh, four does one point. Third one hits. Does no points. Fourth one. Hits, come on, Rapier. Uh, five is two and kills Your it. Rapier's ridiculous. Six. Misses. All right, over to you. All right. Um, well, I guess I'm going to heal? Because what else can I do? I mean, nothing, really. Nothing. <laughs> So. I mean, you could try and move across. We have to kill everyone, right? Uh, you could stand here and attack. Nothing. Nothing, no, because nobody's standing there. Killed that guy. Yeah. Um, Just save it. Just save it and stand there, I guess. Do you have? You don't have a bow, do you? Well, I can. I can use my. So here's what I can. Oh, because I can. I can only cast one spell per turn. Mm -hmm. um, no, I don't have a bow because I, I took the the, yeah, the path. The range. That's right. Mm. Yeah, it's too bad he didn't get to move, but such is life. Yeah, yeah. Killed by the Minotaur in a second anyway, so we might as well wait and heal us back up. Uh, did you roll for his belt? Not for sleep. Rut row. All right, well, we're going to get attacked by the Minotaur first into the Noble yep. on fours. He misses. Oh. Uh, then we'll do the Skavens that are adjacent. So the one that's attacking my Noble, because you get the bonus one, misses. Uh, this guy takes a step, and then he'll attack your Ward Answer, because everybody else should have had two. Yep. Um, it doesn't matter which one it is, so go for it. Uh, on a four, he hits. He does five, so two points. One, and this one just mills about because he can't go anywhere. Uh, the giant rats go in. This one against the noble because he got bonus ones. Misses. And then the other one against the noble corner to corner. Misses. Does he die? Yes. The other one? Yes. They both suicide themselves on the sword of the <laughs> noble. Heal plus, three plus. No! No, man, you just... It's just not happening today. Next turn, I'll just use that gem. Give me that sweet, sweet power roll. Oh, don't, don't get us ambushed. Here comes, here comes. Three. Three. Slayer's over here, but we can't do anything right now. Why not? With him, because well, because I don't have any. I, I can't cross. If I cross back over, there's nowhere for me to land. The way at least, so people can cross. I don't want to cross. Why do I need to cross? Because then they try and follow us, and then we can fight them on this side. The troll slayer can kill everyone. <laughs> okay. Right, well, the mentor is dangerous, but the 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 war dancer can probably kill us. The little guys in here. Uh, by going first. Yeah. So, you so try and kill that one, and then you can step into the square. Here we go, three up. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, that's not happened. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go first with Esteban. He's going to attack that Skaven on a three. He hits. Uh, he doesn't do enough damage. Attack again. He hits. Give me a five. Uh, four is two damage. He hits. Anything. Kills it. He'll attack the next Skaven next to him with his rapier on a three. He misses. Shockwave, you can also jump across here if you want. And get out of the way. I guess so. So I'll go one, two, three. Well, it's three, just cost you two to move four. to the square and roll. So three plus to do it uneventfully. Oh, right. Three plus. You're fine. Oh. Uh, and then you can move two more. Yep. And then you need Shockwave if you want. Yeah, I'll Shockwave. Uh, and I'm going to use... You don't want to heal? I'm going to use the... On a four plus? Yeah, you know. Everybody's almost dead. Answer only has one wound. And what is his what is his thing right now? Hmm? What is his what is his belt? Nothing. Uh-oh. 
Yeah, but you're, the Minotaur's attacking your just noble. Sa just save it, and if we die, you bring us back with one wound. Yeah. So, Minotaur attacking the noble, twice on fours. Weapons go four against weapons go four. He hits once, I'm just down. I'm down. Spooch. Bam! Oh! Uh, and then Skaven the first, attacking your war dancer. Hits. Six, he's down two. Yeah. Uh, end of the turn, oh. these guys can't go anywhere, but they come forward. He mills about. And then four plus, bring us back. Otherwise, I'm not going to four plus it. I'm going to use that gem. So an if auto, auto goes it. off, Sweet. so we just get we back. We stand up with one. We back up with one wound. Ouch! Well, uh, new turn. Hopefully we don't get ambushed. Don't roll one. This is, this is, this is the one. This is the one. This is the one! Uh, roll event. What do we got? It's... An encounter! Oh, sweet! The door with the key. Yeah. Yay! We yeah, got a key yeah, yeah. for a cor uh, portcullis we didn't actually need to find. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that was lucky. But we yes. also heal on a six now, which means if we die, this is all gonna go horribly this is, wrong. This is it. Um, Alright, well, Dwarf mills about and goes, Come get me, Minotaur. I'm over here. Uh, do you want to try and just escape pinning the word across answer the bridge? just needs to get out of there. Yeah. Roll three bluffs. Roll three bluffs to escape pinning. You yep. do. And that's three bluffs to get across the bridge. Oh no, you're dead. He's just dead. You're just dead. And the thin white duke <laughs> buys it in the lava. <laughs> oh, that's, I mean, at least you weren't super invested in him. <laughs> what other Bowie character can we name after? Is he just gonna be the Goblin King at this point? Uh, uh, what was the Goblin King's name? It was uh, the Goblin Jared. King. Let's call him Jared. Jared. Yeah. Jared. Let's call him Jared. Let's call him Jared next. So <laughs> the rat uh, on a three, a two story actually it hits and then kills it, and the other one a two. He hits. I'm just gonna call him Let's Dance it. from He's now. He's on a three. He misses. That wasn't great. Uh, you can go with him. Does he just want to wait? And we'll cross. We'll have him cross the bridge. Well, she had a bow. Right. Um, well, you're, you didn't. You didn't get away, did you? No. I, well, I can try and cast on a six. We'll wait until these guys have gone. Because if they kill me, then I come back, right? On a six. Yes, but I mean, they're gonna kill me. So wait until like having two <laughs> wounds or coming back to life. It's better to come back to life. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Alright, so the Minotaur first, on fours, hits once, I'm just knocked down, uh, and then these guys cross, they're gonna go one, two, three, uh, and stand there and attack uh, randomized, so there's only two they can attack, let's just pull them out, and it's gonna be the Ranger or the Dwarf, let's mix those up, let's see which one it is, yeah, it's the Dwarf, let's try and hit him on a four, Yep. He does, and minus, so seven, two damage. He's gonna go to 15. This one's gonna go one, two, and then he will not be able to make it because it's three, four. Land. All uh, right. So it's six plus to heal the- Six no, plus the rest of Bongolantes is meta. Bring him back, fate. bring him back. Oh, He's dead. <laughs> Estevan's dead. Oh, oh brutal. All right, new, uh, new power face. Let's see what yeah. happens. Oh, so, there good, we go. Good turn now. There we um, go. I guess I just go first and murder that guy. Yup. Yup. Just dead. Yep. Uh, and then we you get to go where you, you want to be. Bow. Just come stand behind me. Come stand. Just come and stand behind me and keep me on my feet. I should be able to kill everything that moves. I like it's it's right. it's how it's gonna be. And then it's one two, and then he attacks me. He misses. Yep. <laughs> and then this guy just stands here. I'll try and heal. My uh, well. How many wounds do you got? I've got 15 left. Okay, on a 2+, plus, I'm going to sort of an area on the Minotaur. Sweet. Anywhere in the room? Yep. <laughs> okay. You roll. See sorry, what about my sorry about my dice rolling <laughs> skills That's here. Okay. Uh, 3 this turn. Uh, let's just kill that guy. We sure do. He just explodes because that mm -hmm. was strength 9. Yep. Uh, you've got 3 powers, so you might as well wait and see if this guy kills me. Yep. One, two, and then he attacks. Fours. One hit, 2d6 plus 4, minus 5. So 12 minus 5 is going to be 7 damage. So I got another 8 left. Well, do you want to try and I'll heal or you want to try and do damage? I would just try and kill. Uh, try, and, try and just do damage on a 4 plus. 2d6 wounds. I'll yep. probably kill with my next attack. No. Uh, you don't. Please don't get us ambushed. Why would I be able to do anything? Don't get us ambushed. Five, okay, there okay. we go. All right, leader phase. Do I hit this guy? Two attacks on fours. Come on, big sixes. Got one hit, and it's strength five plus d6. Ten minus four is six damage. He's down to five left. Oh, I can do him with the spell. You could do him with the spell, yep. All right, on a, on a two plus. Two plus the soap. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why did you bring these dice? All right, take a step and stab him. Just kill me with your bare hands. You hit him. Five. He takes one. Goes down to four. 
Well, he's attacking me again. Uh, so two attacks on fours. Misses. Feet power phase. Here it comes, man. Don't do it. Here it comes. Don't do it. Yes, uh, I told you it was coming. Uh, I what happens? Told you we're getting 2d6 giant 2D6 bats. 2d6 giant bats. It's okay. They're afraid of the noble who's dead. We get seven, seven. bats. Seven. Gets a bonus bat. It's the elf. All right then. Well, that happened. Uh, we really need to kill this minotaur. And you have no healing right now. I can shockwave on a six. You could shockwave on a six. It would certainly I, help with I, these bats. I, I think we can death blow most of these bats if we manage to do this. But they, they attack immediately. So they are weapon skill two. Um, so there's... Who had a bonus one? You had a bonus one. So you should have three. Because we would place that first. So it'd be one, two, three, four. And that'd be it. So... Uh, three attacking you. They hit on fives, I'm pretty sure, because it's two against a uh, four. So you can take three attacks on fours. Uh, first one hits. Strength two, so seven minus four is going to be three damage. Uh, uh, seven minus five, actually. Minus but five I, is right. about the roll for my cloak. Well, my it's cloak gone. falls apart. So you take two damage. Second one hits. Uh, nothing, because your death is four. Third one misses. And then to the Troll Slayer. Misses. Gets to go. So we have the choice here of killing a bat and then death blowing into the minotaur. I think we hit the minotaur. We hit him once. Uh, it's d6 plus five. So six minus four is sorry. Seven minus four is going to be three. He's got one left. Oh. Get time. a death blow. Hero time it. Hero time into the minotaur. Four plus. Hero. <laughs> and then you could do your spell on a six. Yep. Uh, on a serial, gonna get that six. Yeah. Bam. All right, so D6, D6 wounds. plus one minus his fours. So you need to roll a. No, no, it's just D6. Oh, it's just wounds. It's yeah, he's minus. just taking okay. D6 wounds. One. Then he's dead. Enough to kill him. You get 440. Woo! All right, well, then the bats get to go. Uh, and we'll start with the ones in base to base. So there's three on you right now. So the first one hits. Plus two, five, does one damage. Mm -hmm. The second one misses. The third one misses. The one on me misses. And then the one that can move. Uh, hits and does seven minus five is two, so I go down to six. Let's just mill about. You ready for it? Big power phase. Five. Oh, sweet, to so get your big spell off. Um, I'm just gonna try and kill these three with a big death blow. Go so the first it. one on a three hits, sorry, two attacks, both hit, it just explodes. Uh, the next one hits, it dies. The third one misses. Abuse my luck. Not bad. Punch the bat. Hits. Smash the bat. No. No. Because uh, that's three. It has one, but it doesn't kill it. Oh, it has one wound. Toughest two. It kills it. No, so it Go is. again. And Next one. Low. Hits. Hits. Kills it. Smokes it. And then you want to cast your spell? Two plus? Uh, kill the last two? You can kill them all in threes. Well, I, yeah, just like, I guess I'll shockwave then. Yep. Two plus. Yep. So two plus for the shockwave. Goes off. Yep. So three plus so to hit three him. Three plus. No. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Uh, bats, uh, one to three, four to six right now. So this one's engaged, so it's just attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, on a four, hits, no damage. Uh, this one on a one to three, it's me, four to six, it's you. It's me, misses, and then same thing, one to three, it's me, four to six, it's you, it's you. So they attempt to switch every turn. Mm -hmm. On a four, hits, no damage. Phase! Four. four! All right, oh, so here we go. We're gonna smoke some, smoke some bats. All right, see if we can do it. I'm gonna try and death blow through these guys. First one. Uh, I don't think I hit it. I think I hit him on threes. Weapon skill four against weapon skill two. Yeah, nothing. All right. Over to you. Okay. Well, it's all down to me, eh? It's all down to you. Um, okay. So do your death blow first, and then see yep, the blast so that guy. bat. Hits. Hits, and... Uh, it's still enough to kill him. Yep. Plus two, so that's three, and that kills him for one Next move. One. Next one. Hits, kills so him he two. just dies. Yep, and then you want to zap him with a spell? Uh... Sort of an Arian? Three plus? <laughs> it just kills him, and then we win. Yep. Three plus. Three plus. Yeah. Boom! D6 wounds, bat, eat it! Bam. <laughs> uh, so I get to put in the, the the eye of the dragon now. So we get 3d6 times 10 gold each warrior, and we give up half. So we've made it through. Uh, experience for us, sorry, we get to draw our treasure. our treasure, that's right. right. So we draw a treasure card. And it's got to go to me. Uh, the Chalice of Fate. So the Chalice allows you to reroll when determining the power level for the power phase. Reroll once. So you can get rid of that ones and ambushes, which is sweet. Uh, we didn't get any other events that would allow us to draw, and so I'm going to earn two bats, which is 15 each for 30. 
a rat for 40, and then 160. So uh, 200, which will put me at 1,000 for experience, and 2240, 2340. 6 times 100, so that's gonna be 1,000 to get 500. 500. <clears throat> and then for me, I'm gonna get uh, 1,200, so 600. Wow, it's just the young Prince Laurent and a Borg Goldfist going home. Unfortunately, Esteban was eaten. And so is the thin white duke. He didn't. He wasn't eaten. He just fell. It's a, it's He's like, still falling it's right now. From the life of Quack. <laughs> Esteban was eaten by the jaguar shark. Um, so all right. So uh, we're going home, and you're gonna level because you got a whole bunch of uh, experience. I sure or, did. Or monies. I'm at 2375. That means we gotta we gotta go to a village. Grand. So it's gonna cost us four rolls to get there. All right. So we're at four. We're gonna try and go to a town. So we need four rolls in the event table. 55. 55. So the first one's gonna be. A wagon train, uh, they're heading in the same direction as us, and they pay us D6 times 10 gold to hitch a lift. And we save a, sorry, if we pay them D6 times 10 gold, we save a week. Sure. So might as well do it. So D6 times 10 for you? 40. 40. So it's 40 each. Two more rolls. Two more rolls. Again. It's five again with the wagon. So we save a second week on D6. Two. 20. All right, so we've hate our way to the nearest town, and that means you're going to try and, you want to try and train. So we yep. got to roll first to see if you can get there. Got there on an eight. So now, did you want to go train? You got three d six for a seven plus. Yep, I gotta find the. I gotta find the noble house. Go for it. You got it with got the, it. Uh, eight. Yep. So and I you're in the, the noble, noble house. house. You're in the elf quarter with the noble house. You can only spend one visit here. Mm -hmm. So you gotta do everything elf time that you want to do. So do your buying first, and then if you want to level, you have, well, you have to train for a week. Well, first I have to see if I end up spending all my uh, gold Ugh. on uh, on some rare silks. Don't do it. Don't roll on. Okay, oh, that would have probably kept you from leveling. Thank God. Oh, whatever, sure. <laughs> um, do you want to buy anything elfy before you go? Do you want to buy an elf cloak? Do you want to go and do anything before you actually go train? It's only uh, we'll get news. Cloak. Sure, news? Yeah, because I also have that plus one on the training right. roll for this, training, but, I'll, right. but I'll check the news again. So the news again is three this time. The ranger is given a map of the next dungeon. If he wishes, he can demand to be the leader in the next adventure, whether it's his turn or well, not. That makes sense, because you are very poncy. And then I have to visit the uh, the Lord of the Noble House yep. and see what he says. So I make myself, make my presence known to the Lord, and hey, he gives me another magic gem. Good thing, because I used up the last one. Let's get another auto cast. Another auto cast. Uh, and then training. Here we go. So you spend a week, because you're automatically a week when you train, unless you're the Troll Slayer. He is only it? spends D6 days. <laughs> Here is, you get plus one to the roll, because you're contact. Two. Two! Uh, the trainer is an elf around the same experience. Okay. So basically just doesn't mean anything. It's not a superior instructor, so... Um, I don't get to basically so you, boost any of my you, rolls. You go to battle level two, and you roll to see what your skill is. One it's skill? Either a skill or a spell. It'll right. depending on what it is. So I'm going to ask you to see what you get on the advance table. So it's going to be four, which is probably a spell. It could be. You, it seesaws you based four on Four is everything. a spell. Vigor of Bel Caradras. Ooh, cool. The ranger performs an ancient ritual of healing carried out by the great mages of Safri. The warrior feels lost energy returning to their very limbs. The number of warriors affected by the spell varies according to the level of the caster. So two in this case, probably. Uh, I'm a champion, so it's still number of affected is one. one. But they get D6 wounds back. Sweet. That's super handy. Yeah, that sucks. Anything else go up on your battle level? I think your stats probably go up a little bit. Do you get extra attack? Do you get a luck point? I get... Do, 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 do. The only thing that changes is I get plus one wound. Sweet. Or plus d6 wounds. Oh no, wait. I'm 2d6. Yeah, I get plus another d6. Oh no, I'm 2d6 plus 8 wounds now? How do I go from d6 plus 7 to 2d6 plus 8? I you guess just gain a bonus wound. So it's, it's basically d6 no, plus 1. No, this is 2d6 plus 8. Right, so you get d6 plus 1 each time as opposed to just d6. Is that how it works? Yeah, oh, I guess. The, you change the, you yeah. change the, the, the initial bonus. Uh, my initiative goes up to 6, and my willpower goes up to 3, and other than that, everything changes the same. So you any living expenses or any events, but you're there for 7 days, and I got 7 days to burn now. So we're going to go <laughs> see if we can find the Dwarf Shrine. You gained 4 extra wounds and go to a total of, what, you're at 16 now? Yeah, and my initiative went up to 6. Uh, so do I find my thing? I do. Dwarf Quarter. Now do I find a Slayer Shrine? Well, we found the Shrine. Let's see if we can uh, get our our extra donations to, to pay off some stuff. I pay off, was it 50 gold? So I pay 50 gold for my my actual monies and take me to 2830. And let's see if we uh, we impress the locals. We do. Two rolls on the, on the axe table again. So we go to the inner Shrine table. What do we get? A six. 
Rune, uh, sorry, a six is a killer blow. A troll slayer in the inner chamber demonstrates the killer blow technique, lethal in combat. After a few hours practice, the troll slayer has mastered the skill to deadly perfection. Every turn, he can nominate a single attack before rolling the dice to see whether it hits or not. If he does hit his target with the nominated attack, then he gains an additional fall through attack that turn, resolved immediately on top of any remaining attacks he just got for that turn. Second roll, I get a one. And that's a demon slayer is so taken with the exploits you were that he offers to paint a particularly impressive tattoo on my arm. Uh, the troll slayer leaves the shrine feeling even fiercer than usual, ready once more to seek his own death in the hands of a powerful monster. I just get a tattoo and that's it. Day one, what else happens? 41. Uh, 41 takes me to... Gambling! Your warrior visits a local inn and gets involved in a dubious game of dice. Roll d6 see what happens. I... Come out of the game even. Day two, we're going to the dwarf quarter. Seven plus. We find it. Uh, let's go buy some stone bread. Is it in stock? On oh, two plus. Hey, look at this. How many? Six of them. Uh, so that's going to be six times... I'm just going to buy them all. Six times three is 180. Ten stone bread. I'm going to buy some lock tools, potentially. Uh, lock tools allow you to open any lock that's otherwise magical or for the rules of lock state otherwise. Uh, only one set of lock tails available in each guildmasters on a seven. Nope, can't find them. Visit the runesmith. Uh, the dwarf may make one of the runesmiths to engrave a single rune on my axe. It costs d6 plus two times 100 gold. Turn in the exact rune, roll d6 and see what happens. So it's going to cost me 400 gold, which I'll gladly spend. And then I get a two. The rune of smashing. Uh, it's you ignore one point of armor when turning damage. It's basically plus one damage because you're minus one toughness. One toughness, sorry, minus one armor. So armored stuff, I I reduce it basically a little bit. Uh, and there's not much else I can do here. I guess I could buy a fire bomb, flash powder to get plus one attack for anyone who hasn't fought yet. Hmm. Hmm. No, we're just gonna. Yeah, we're just gonna go buy some fire bombs on an eight plus if we can. We can find some flash power. We can. How many? One for 75. Let's do it. This is the dwarf quarter. What happens to me? 21. Fight! I roll a d6 and see what happens. Six. The dozen evil looking thugs, the traitor's bodyguards, uh, leap out of the shadows. Unperturbed, I dispatch them all and get 300 gold. Literally beat a whole bunch of people into the ground. Uh, so that's two out of seven. Um, I guess I'll go to the ale house. There's not a lot more I want to do, so I think I'll just go drinking. I got 10 stone bread, which is better than most things. So let's just go drinking until we're done. Five more, five days of drinking. What happens to a warrior in the ale house? <laughs> For the dwarf, I roll 2d6. That's the part where I'm actually not super welcome in the, um, in the, the guild, uh, the dwarf guild masters. Um, I only roll, I roll 1d6, uh, in the settlement to see if I can find it. 2d6 in a city and d6 in a town. If I do find, I can only visit the runesmith or buy stone bread. So I actually couldn't buy the um, flash powder. I get plus one to the roll, and if I roll a 13, I stay there for D6 days. I roll an eight. Uh, an aging barbarian with Norska demonstrates you how to cover yourself in congealed fat from a cooked pig uh, to get out of the grips. Uh, your warrior can use this trick once per adventure to evade any single blow that would have wounded him. So I just get to ignore one hit per game. What happens for the event on day three? 46. 46 is going to be Runaway. You walk along the main street. Uh, a moment later, a huge Runaway bull charges down the street, wrecking market halls and causing panic. I can let it pass while hiding on the side of the street to try and stop it. If your warrior tries to stop it, uh, roll d6 in the following table. On a 1 to 3, uh, I lose 100 gold. On a 4 to 6, I care about my business. If I you, stop it, I roll d6 again. Control Slayer, it might kill me. I have to. Death. This could be my double death. I don't. I, I lose 100 gold. That's not the worst. Uh, and then the rest of it, I'm just going to roll for events and pay expenses. So I've got four more rolls. 25. A reward. Um, your warrior sees a poster uh, with a well-known murderer and offers a reward to capture him. He's got his very tall, wearing a black cloak and a hat and having an Aaron Grad accent. And your warrior realizes the description fits a character he bumped into earlier. Uh, and rushing back, you apprehend the villain just as he drags a gag merchant in an alley. Roll a die. What happens? 50 or 5. I save the merchant's life, he gives me 20 gold, and he slips away. Left. 66. Uh oh. Accident. I get smashed. I have to recover for D6 days. And I can do nothing else. One. So I recover for one more day, and I have to pay expenses for it because I get run over by an ox cart and almost die again. <laughs> um, and well, then. Ox two carts more, and wild bulls running around. I know. Two more rolls. 52. 
Uh, uneventful day, last roll. 43. Join the watch, the captain of the watch. Uh, you're working, try to escape by spending 2d6 times 10 gold. Uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna pay to leave. <laughs> I just, I don't want to be, it's, I can gain 20 gold for another week in wages. <laughs> oh, I, but then you have to spend a week of doing things. I'm not gonna bother. I got, I pay 60 gold to get out of it. <laughs> Bori's done. Had a day of drinking. Join the watch almost. Got in a fight. Murdered some dude. Found a murderer. We had a, we had a pretty big day for a troll slayer wandering around a little settlement or village. So here yeah, only two making it out this time. The Troll Slayer and the Young Prince Lorand. So we got Bory Goldfist and Young Prince Lorand managing to make it out alive into the next adventure. Um, both at battle level two now, which is pretty sweet. And we're gonna have to recruit some new heroes. So uh, we're gonna probably paint some new models to see who turns up and you'll be able to check that out in a few weeks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Till next time on Ash. Have a day. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Deathbird Designs, um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible, uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else, and most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.